Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Classic. So in the last episode, we helped out an asshole ghost, which we still need to do the last thing for him, but he can wait. Because we then moved on to kill some Thresheldons and pick up some lockboxes from sunken ships. So now we are on our way to go kill some rabid thistle bears. After finding out there wasn't really a whole lot we could do to help them. And gathering some Moonstalker fangs for another one of these boxes. So if we get a chance to, we might go destroy the seal too for that one guy. But also there's Strider meat. We, we still have the Strider meat quest. We have made it to three. I feel like cooking quests are a whole nother level of hell. <laughs> Speak of the devil. There he is. In his chickeny winged terror form. You have meat. Oh, it worked. It worked this time. Wow. Oh, but there's a moon stalker. So these are just regular thistle bears. We don't want to kill them. We want to look for the grayish ones like that guy. Okay. I guess we could go ahead and get him. I feel like we're going to be attacked by everything else that is roaming these woods. Why are, are there so many creatures just out and about? Like, come on. You can't walk anywhere in this game without getting attacked. It's one of those. A little, a little annoying sometimes, but. Oh, that's a regular thistle bear. Don't want to go that way. Oh, I almost walked straight past you. I didn't notice there was one around. No meat though. He had hand wraps despite not having hands, but no meat. That's incredible. How do they do it? Like who is strapping these hand wraps to these ducks? Don't run, no! Woo. Okay, at least we have itches to chase you down, huh? And at least with these woods being very full, they're at least very full of things we need to kill, so... Ooh, our first thing. Makes our job a little bit nicer here. Did you just attack? Oh my god. That is so annoying. Does kind of feel like we're just on a killing spree. Oh, oh, don't notice me. You're gonna notice me. There's no way. There's no way, what? Okay. This guy ran right past you. I'll take it though. I didn't want to deal with him. I took his paw. I took his small furry paw. Why? It's so sad. Oh, bears, bears everywhere. Why does there have to be regular thistle bears? I don't want to deal with all that. Oh, we're actually done. What? That's insane. Never thought I'd see the day. Oh, there's another one of those skeletons up there, but I don't know if this is actually one of the ones we need to investigate yet or not. Did you really not notice? Yes, you did. Okay, I figured. Oh, and I'm low on mana too. You know, I'm taking the stupid potion. We don't need it in our inventory anyway. Don't want to just sit here and get mauled to death by these bears. There we go. Whew, okay. Now, I guess I'll get a little closer, but I don't think that's... Yeah, that's that's not one that we need. Not yet, at least. I don't remember where the ones we need are. Oh, there's another moon stalker. They're so cute. I hate attacking them. I love night sabers. It just, it just get in there. Even when they don't listen to me. <laughs> oh, I took his paw again. Stop. It makes me sad. I swear, like, even though I've only been playing World of Warcraft for the past couple of years, can, can you, like, aggro into him, please, so I can shoot you? I guess not. I was born to be a night elf main. Like, I've always loved white tigers. Like, I, I had this huge white tiger plushie whenever I was a kid that I could literally just use as a bed. It was just that big and, like, comfy and, like, flat. And I loved it so much, but one of my elderly cats uh, went went tinkle on it and we had to throw it away and it was really sad. And like ever since then, I've wanted another big white tiger plushie like that. But it was my first saber. It was my first night saber. That and I, I feel like I've told this story before. I, I can't remember because once again, it's been about a year since I recorded classic. But um, whenever I was in high school, we redid my room and I wanted to go with purple walls. 
And in the corners, I painted like Greek pillars or at least was working on it. I never actually finished them because it was a lot more work than I thought it would be, but uh, yeah, I wanted Greek pillars with like vines going up them and along the roof, like painted on. And I'm just like, that that's literally, what, did I run out of, okay. Do I have to put it there, I guess? I don't know, but um, that was literally Darnassus. Like my room was literally Darnassus in high school and I just had no idea. It's like, I knew what World of Warcraft was and I vaguely knew about night elves and knew that I loved them and that they were vibey as hell. It's like, I even had night song in uh, one of my playlists that I listened to all the time. And I remember staring at the night elf and just being like, wow, that was on the YouTube uh, thumbnail. <laughs> Okay, we seem to have eradicated everything but regular thistle bears over here, so. Damn shame. But yeah, it's my life goal. I gotta get a giant white tiger plush. I saw one um, recently. Like, I don't know when this video is gonna be up, especially since it's like the fourth one I recorded this session. So it's probably gonna be up, you know, long time in the future. But it was recently me and Ryder's dating anniversary and we went kind of around Dallas and we're going to a bunch of shops around there. You know, one of them, they did have a giant white tiger plush. It wasn't quite like mine. It was more like realistic, but it was still huge and I wanted it so bad, but I, I didn't even want to go in and look at how much it was because I knew I'd just be depressed <laughs> and not get it. Oh my God, finally, a moon stalker. That and I've just always been obsessed with like cats and the moon and whatnot. It's just, mm, vibey. Vibey as hell. What, why can I still not use my bow? Ammo needs to be in the paper doll. Ammo slot before it can be fired. Is it not? Now is it? I guess it is. I guess I just had to click on it. That's weird. I still don't understand this game. Been playing World of Warcraft for two years, as I said, but I still feel like a complete noob. Hmm. That's life, ain't it? The game you play for multiple hours on end each day for two years and you still suck at it. But doesn't that just make it more amusing? <laughs> I feel like this is just a good story time sort of series in general. Like, I just need stuff to ramble about while I'm recording this, to be honest. I don't feel like I have enough to ramble about today. Also, while we were in the big city, we were going around a bunch of bookstores, as we do, used bookstores. And I found uh, that Oblivion guide right there, and I was really happy about it. I was looking for Warcraft books, because I'm trying to finish off. Uh, you can see a little bit of my collection down there. It's kind of hard to see, but I have most of the books now, I think. So I was trying to just see if I could find any uh, new ones and alas, I couldn't. I found Warcraft books, I just had all of them. Well, we actually did pick up the hardcover of Arthas, but we already had that book, but um, just in paperback version. But I remember one of the stores I had went to, I found a RuneScape novel in uh, like years ago. Before I started playing old school RuneScape, I just like, you know, I was in a RuneScape as a kid and my brother was still really into it. So I remember looking at it and being like, wow, I didn't know that's the thing, that's really funny. But I had already bought so many books that day that I passed on it and I'm so mad about it because I was hoping I could find one uh, whenever we went recently and I didn't. And then I looked on eBay for them and it seems like they're actually pretty rare. So I'm just like, oh. if you have, this is a long shot, but if you have any of the old RuneScape novels, let me know how they are. I'm very curious. Like I was legitimately going to read them. It wasn't just a weird collector's piece. I do actually really enjoy reading. I've been reading through the Warcraft books, uh, I've been trying to read more again since, uh, you know, life's calmed down a good bit and I can actually focus on it. And I've still been continuing the Drit series, but I've just, oh, I love the Warcraft books. As varied as some of them are, I should drink milk. Hopefully you don't notice me, you're kind of swerving this way now. Uh, okay, uh, well, I g did you have to? Did you have to? Like some of them aren't that great, but I still just love the world of Warcraft so much. So they're always a joy. So I've been kind of reading those in between Dritz books. I just wish I had more time to read and more focus to do so. Cause sometimes it is just kind of hard to find that focus. Cause uh, let's be real, most of my downtime is kind of eaten up by RuneScape now. Hmm. I should have tried to drink again. I'm really low itches. Could you do something about this? Okay, that's the last Moonstalker we need. Was that really the only glass of milk I had? Of course. <laughs> now I just kind of have to sit here and suffer. And a rude. Uh, maybe I can make... I don't think... Yeah, I don't have any vials. I can't make... 
can't make magic potions anyways, that's so sad. I should probably be working on my herbalism and alchemy a little bit more, to be honest. You know what, let's find herbs instead now, because we have uh, plenty of beasts in our sights. We don't really need to know where they are, I think I'm well aware. Yeah, see the- oh, I can't even pick it up. <laughs> there was a briar thorn right there and I didn't even notice. Yeah, we will track that again for a little while. Until we're just desperate to find some beasts. My dang mana! Ah, oh, it takes so long. Now I just have to stand here. Like, what do I do? Hmm. Wow, we have a sliver. Let's go ahead and shoot at him. It's just gonna do most of the work. That's his job. I don't know why me stabbing the guy has to uh, count his mana, but I guess it does. Kinda rude. He is still happy, by the way. Like, this guy does not need to eat very often. I'm glad. But at least we're already halfway done with the bears, and there are so many of them around, so. I'm just gonna send itches after him. He can do his thing. I'll help when I'm able. <laughs> yeah, I definitely like Hunter a lot more in Classic than I do in Retail. It's at least very useful in Classic. Hmm? I don't know if uh, Hunter's Mark is even worth the mana at the moment. I'm, I really don't know, but... Now I just kind of got a routine going, you know? Oh, is someone else killing these bears or have I gone into a circle? I fear someone else is killing my bears. Yeah, because I haven't been up here, because that's- oh, oh, I can't pick that anyway. And he noticed me anyway. Alright, well, that's life. But yeah, I don't think I've been that close to the river mouth, so... At least we need to go over there anyway, for a couple of different reasons. We will head up there. And there's still some bears wandering around. They haven't all been stolen from me. All right, five more, but let's go ahead and first of all, I guess get that buzz box because I think it might be up here. If not, um, yeah, because I think we need to be down there to get the sample, don't we? Or is it up here? No, I think it's down there. But this is up here, so let's get it first. It kind of looks like it might be annoying to get back up here. Though you've yet to place the six Moonstalker fangs inside, you believe you hear sounds of static and incoherent gnome ramblings coming from within. Could someone else have fixed this machine already? Well, there was someone else around here questing, apparently. Killing my bears. I saw a Moonstalker dead, too. The buzz box suddenly leaps into action, and you can hear the distinct sounds of teeth being ground to dust from within- or coming from within. Show you made it! That's excellent news. Show, why don't you move along? Oh, unless you want another job. <laughs> Over the boiling, boiling noises and dripping sounds coming from the machine, you hear Whizbang's wavering voice call out. Next one, far south to the down the road. Shouldn't be hard to find, just off the shine near Finch. I think I hid it in some bushes. Bushes. Hehe. <laughs> yes, Buzzbox525 takes grizzled scalps from those grizzled, grizzled thistle bears. Boy, that's a mouthful. Grizzled. Hehe. <laughs> okay, well, four scalps. Okay, and we get a bag. I don't know if it's, uh, we just bought a bag. So I don't know if that's actually, yeah, it's, it's not useful to us at all. Whoops, I guess I shouldn't have bought that one. But the one we bought was a two slot, or it had two slots extra anyway, so. That sucks. Anyway, let's uh, go down here and try not to hurt our ankles. I hurt our ankles. <laughs> Hop along down here. All right, let's get some water. Then, is there anything else we need to be doing over here? I see those mushrooms, but I think for that, especially given that it's a level 17 quest, I know it's in a cave and there's some other cave or quests in that cave. Uh, and that one's a level 18. I think we might just finish this up and then head back to town. Then see what we want to do next if we have time for anything else this episode. So doing a cave this recording session, even though I usually do about four episodes, I might do a fifth just so I can go do that cave. Just because I'm interested to see if we're going to need help with it. Because the last episode I do would be the ideal time to seek help from Ryder. If I should need it. I remember doing that cave on my rogue a long time ago and uh, ended up needing a druid's help that at least happened to be there. I guess we can see if Wrath of the Lich King really has made things any easier for us or not. At least that little break over there helped us actually get our mana back. It just, ah, uh, I always forget. 
Okay, allegedly there can be thistle bears over here, but I'm not really seeing very many. Once again, could be because someone killed them. Oh, but there's one. Is he stuck in a tree? Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do about that one. Of course, the one that we find. There's also a dead moon stalker over there. So yeah, I think someone has just recently killed many of them. Oh, there's one. Ah, oh, there's another plant up there, but it's just a briar thorn. I can't pick it. Ooh, there's three bears over here. Okay. Hopefully we can get all of them before they disappear. In fact, I may just go ahead, even though this is a risky move, itches if you wouldn't mind, just go ahead and tag him so he doesn't wander off or get stolen away. Not that I've seen anyone else around here, but you know. Okay, unfortunately we have an extra bear that we now have to kill because he blundered into us, but that's life. All right. That is all the bears, so I do believe now we should head back to town and turn some stuff in. Huh, our mini map is so clear now, you love to see it. And we are definitely staying on the road, because like I mentioned, I know that there's a big, big nice saber in these woods somewhere that will jump scare you, so. No thanks. So like, I guess we still have one, <laughs> one whole inventory slot. Should we go ahead? And go destroy that seal. Mm, maybe not, because we still have those fur bulbs kind of in the way too. <gasps> Mage Royal, can I pick that? Please, I want to level. No, there's nothing around here I can pick. Yeah, I may have to get on whenever I'm not recording and just go pick stuff. Because maybe I didn't pick enough things in Teldrassil, so I'm not quite to the herbalism level for this zone yet or something. Okay, here's the thistle bear dude. <laughs> So let's go ahead, turn that in. You've done Aberdeen a great service, Galeron, but your task is not yet complete. Turn to me once you have rested. And Galeron, prepare your mind and soul for more bloodshed. Okay, kill 20 more bears, I'm sure. <laughs> the survival of our people and lands comes at unfortunate cost, Galeron. You have spilled the blood of nature's servants. Many sick animals you have felled. The people of Aberdeen are indebted to you, for the forest pain is eased, even if for only a moment. I have one final task for you, but be warned, you will have to kill again. I am an adventurer. My hope is that this will be the last time I call upon you, Galeron. In a cave to the northeast near Bachelorron resides the Din Mother, Slay her. Oh, okay, well, that's a bit out of our level range at the moment, but someday, sure. Now let's give him these lock boxes. The captains of those ships were good night elves, and they deserve a better fate than they were given. Perhaps tending to their personal effects will be the best way to put their spirits to rest. You've done us here in Aberdeen a great service, lad. We'll make sure that their effects are properly taken care of. As for you, please have this. It's the least I can do for someone with the bravery to set things right. Well, uh, we can only take the cloth ones and they're not that good. Well, I guess, no, we can still take the male ones and sell them because they'll sell for more. So that's actually what we're going to do. Whoop. And that was a big amount of XP. Maybe we'll level from this. I should also go ahead and sell some things, huh? Just hopefully not anything that I actually need. Because I could, I could sell the Strider meat so easily right now and that frightens me. Oh, okay. Is that better? It is better. Let's put that on. I didn't really notice it. There we go. That's a little better. And we're already at a gold, so hopefully we'll be fine once we hit level 20, but I guess we'll see. What do you mean my, my strider requires training? I don't have a strider. I just killed so many striders, and every time I press that, she won't let me talk to her. Um, but I'm giving you their meat. Why do you train them? I don't know. Anyway, she gives us a recipe for cooking. I don't know how much we're actually going to mess with cooking because we don't really need to eat very often and we have potions. So we're probably just gonna sell that. But we'll keep the food because yeah, it's better than the bananas. We'll sell the bananas. We're keeping the meat for itches so he doesn't really seem to need to eat very often. I swear it used to go down faster. It probably did. And here's the river sample. The pollution of the Cliff Spring River is but the start of an alarming trend here in Darkshore. The sample you provide will help us formalize a plan, a plan of attack, I'm starting to suspect. 
It's no surprise how tainted this water is, but just look how putrid it is becoming. It would seem that action is needed sooner than later, eh, Galeron? To our east is the Fellwood. It is the real source of the corruption, one that I have seen in times past. I predict, or I predict this sample will confirm this. We might be able to enact a cure for it here, but in order to even try, we will need assistance. When that time comes, Galeron, I hope you'll be able to give us the aid we need. Okay, yes, the, oh, sliver away from leveling. That's so sad, but yeah, the Fellwood is definitely a zone I want to do. We're probably gonna be doing a lot of the, the night elfy like zones only going to the Eastern Kingdoms once we have to, but who knows, we might end up over there just because I like a lot of the Eastern uh, Kingdom zones more than Southern Kalimdor zones, but we'll probably be back and forth. And the Fellwood is also, you know, kind of connected to my Demon Hunter, obviously, so it'd be fun to kind of explore that a little bit, especially if I get into um, this new generation of Ebonheart's backstories by then. I know I'm being secretive, I just feel like they're not ready yet. You'll know a little bit, that's enough. <laughs> We've learned that a source of furball corruption is from the satyr. They hold sway via talismans that they channel magic through. If the furbolg have a chance at salvation, we must lure out the satyr corruptor and take that talisman. Fill this bowl at our moonwell and take samples of the furbolg's food from their northern camp. Mix them and place it near the bonfire by the river. Any furbolgs who eat it will be cleansed just long enough to lure out the satyr corruptor, who then you must slay. Oh, okay, well I guess we'll go ahead and fill that up just so I don't forget, though I think it'll be a little bit once again before we get to that, but yeah. I guess we should just go ahead and pick up the other quest too, why not? I know they're a bit too high level for us, but we're here, we're reading quests, and to be honest I'm kind of in that awkward in-between point where the episode's not quite long enough, but it's also been recording for a while where I don't know if I should start something else. <laughs> What an honor it was when Master Grey Whisker assigned me to work under the guidance of the great prospector Rim Travel. At the Academy in Ironforge, everyone knew of Rim Travel's great discoveries, but the prospector is rather um, oblivious to his surroundings. We had uncovered evidence of a great society. Horrible golems sprang forth from the ground and over in the site. Rim Travel never seemed to notice. I ran back to Aberdeen for help. Please travel south and see if the prospector is okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I do think I remember that whole quest line. And you know what, let's just go ahead and fill up this little bowl. I also might just go kill some things real quick, just so we can level and go get our new abilities from Darnassus before we end this episode. Kill some crabs or something, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we do still have the fishing quest, we could do that. I hate fishing quests. Hmm. We'll do that though. Especially because it seems like he has another quest from us. What do you want now? What's on your mind? I love crab. Crabs are the fruit of the sea. You can make it, barbecue it, boil it, and broil it. They're pan fried, deep fried, and stir fried. There's crab salad, crab soup, crab stew, pepper crab, lemon crab, whipper root crab, and iron forge surprise crab. That's, that's about it. I'm here fishing right now, so I can't get me fine crab chunks. You can pick them out of reef crawlers and crusted tide crawlers. You can make a lot with it. You can make it barbecue, oh my god. Six fine crab chunks. Uh, how much do you it want to bet that I have sold those? Maybe not, because these guys don't have them. And I was killing them, so we're probably fine. Now, if I just fish anywhere, am I going to catch these grouper? I guess we'll try it. This is going to suck, so I'll edit most of this out for you. I don't have a fishing pole. Never mind, let's just go kill some crabs. Oh, they're all the way up there. Okay, you know what? Watch this. We'll kill these crabs and we'll level and it'll be fine. I know they're level 10, but uh, they should still give XP. Decent enough, right? 45. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll just have to kill a few. <laughs> I just don't want to wander that far away, you know? The hippogriffs are right there. Okay, there we go. Level 16. Now, I guess I should go ahead... See where I need to put my talent point that closed out my uh, browser. Whoops. Okay, it seems like this is where we want to go, so we will do that. And go see if we have some new moves. You know, there's something I need to check that I don't know if I can check it yet, but um, can you even in Classic have two pets as a Beastmaster? Unless if I went over it, I didn't see it in the uh, skill tree. So you might not be able to in Classic, I'm not really sure, but it also could be something you learn how to do. I'm really unsure, especially since you can uh, get the other ones through here anyway, so yeah, I might just be with itches. That's fine. He just ends up with more cats later on down the line. It's fine. But yes, we can finally get Aspect of the Cheetah, huh? 
My favorite, definitely learned that. Our gold was nice while it lasted. I think, yeah, we're just down to all of these now. Then we have a fire trap, a new melee range move, which I not sure if we need. Oh, it does actually do a good bit, which I'm not entirely sure if we should be taking, but I might just cause I enjoy having a little bit of melee too. And then we can rank this up, which is very nice. So we'll definitely do that since we already use this. I think the fire trap is fun and you know what? Mm, we'll go ahead. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I don't care. I'm having a good time. So let's go ahead. I think that's usually the, okay. I, I need to like move all of this stuff. Cause that is usually the keybind I have that on. Now the trap, where do we want to put the trap? Hmm. I guess maybe there? This will put on E cause we actually don't use this one too much unless if I want to get them off of me and go back into ranged. I know it's so messy, ugh. Look, I'm not gonna cook. So we're just gonna get rid of that stuff. Put that down here. And then I kind of want to keybind my potions to being a button so that I can hit that in combat if need be. So let's go ahead, just make it that. I think that's how I have it on my main, at least in retail. Then another healing thing and consumables. And that's butt stuff and then that's seeing stuff. Good enough. <laughs> But yeah, guys, I do think that is where we are going to go ahead and leave this episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave this video a like. Maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help out the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.